Hello everyone. Today I have another addition for our Jumpstart Your Website series. Today I'll show you how to add, remove, and customize your pages of your website. In the last video, I gave you an overview on selecting and changing your website template. Now, since you've got the perfect template, we can start customizing the web pages. So here, if you'll remember from the last video, I have my lovely dessert template here. And each of our templates come loaded with a few pre-created web pages. So you can see here I have home, our story, menu, gallery, and contact pages. These pages can be customized with your own personal content, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can create your own web pages. So first, starting with our initial pages, there are a few customizations we can make. To make customizations to existing web pages, we can head over here to the sidebar, click on the button that says Pages, and next to a page that we want to change the settings to, we can click on this little gear here. So this opens up a menu with different customizable settings for each of your web pages. You can see it has an option to change the name and change the URL for the web page. Under these options, you can also see some checkboxed settings. These settings such as set as home page, disable page, hide from menu, and password protection. Password protection will restrict access to the web page to those only with the password or to members of the website. You can also down here see that it has meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. These will help clients know what your website is about. But for now, and for the sake of time, we'll leave those blank. You are also able to remove pages as well. So if I don't want my contact page anymore, I can head over here to where it says pages, go down to contact page, and click on this X here. You'll be asked to confirm if you really want to delete your contact page. Once you do, the page will be deleted forever. Just a side note, we also allow you to disable a web page. This will remove it from the website and only be accessible and customizable from the website editor. But it will preserve the content, so you won't lose anything you've added to it. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. You can head up to Pages and say I wanted our menu page and I wanted to hide it, but I didn't want to delete it forever. I can click on this little gear here that I showed you earlier, and I can click on disable page. You can see up here in our menu, it's disabled and it doesn't show up anymore. But if I head over to pages, it still exists and I can still access it. So I'll go ahead and undisable that. And I'll just quickly delete my contact page too. If you wish to create a page from scratch, you can select Add Page from the Pages section. This opens up a menu where you can select different layouts for web pages. Or, if you wish to start from scratch, you can select a blank template. So we have a few different categories here. Each of these is a different layout of a web page that you can add. So since I just deleted my contact page, I can create another one from this menu by selecting the contact option here. From here, I can select the design of the page, give it a name and press done. So I'll select this one here and I'll call it my contact page. And I can go ahead and press done. You can see my contact us form is located right here. And the contact page is right here in our menu where the last one was. Now you can customize this page as you would any other pages, but keep in mind that depending on your plan, there are a limit to how many pages you're able to add to your website. With the next tutorial, we'll show you how to begin adding your own personal content to your added web pages. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube.